belt pass and diced tomatoes for your play kitchen. I started with farfalle or bow tie pasta. I chose my felt based on what color I wanted my finished pasta to be. Then match up your embroidery floss so it doesn't stand out too much from your pasta. Cut your felt into strips using a straight edge scissors and then use pinky shears to cut those strips into smaller rectangles with a jagged edge. This generated little pieces of the end which later become spices and then cheese. Then they're all ready to sew. I started by threading my needle with a matching color thread to the felt that I was starting with and knotting the end. Then fold your pasta in half so you could easily find the center. Bring your needle through the center of that, pull all the way through, then fold it in half lengthwise and fold each side down so you end up with an accordion style. You then sew through the center multiple times. I did it about four to six times depending on the pasta noodle. Then you fold it in half and tie a knot on the one side. And then just because my kids are gonna play with it, I brought the needle through again, folded it in half the other way, and tied a second knot, just to be extra safe. Then all that's left to do is trim your embroidery floss, plump it up and set it aside in your bowl and go on to the next one. Again, I knotted my floss, fold the pasta, find the center, bring your needle through, fold down the sides accordion style, secure the middle, tie a knot, and repeat until done. I found it easiest to separate the color so I didn't have to change my embroidery floss multiple times and putting it in a small container that I can bring with me when the kids needed me and I had to put it up high. My kids love pasta, tomato, and cheese, so I had to make canned diced tomatoes to go with it. I started by grabbing all four sheets of red felt I had from the Dollar Tree and stacked them on top of each other. I then sewed along the edges so it would be secure and then sewed randomly around. It was really fun. I then cut it into strips and then cut my strips smaller, more helter skeltery so it would look like diced tomatoes. Originally I was going to backstitch and do parallel threads so that it wouldn't come undone, but as I didn't, I then sewed over each individual tomato piece backstitching when I entered and left each time. Going immediately after each other without cutting the thread made it easier because if my sewing machine started trying to eat the felt, I was able to lightly tug on the excess tomatoes coming out the back. Then I cut the threads between each tomato piece so they weren't on a string anymore. And I had my finished diced tomatoes. Finished play food. I mixed it up and made my own version of pasta tomatoes and then I added the little ends left over from the beginning to be a spice on top. The ends had been used to distract Zoe in a glass jar so I laid it out on a tray and then decided to move it into an empty plastic spice jar to be more legit. I used an empty tea canister so my diced tomatoes would look like legit canned diced tomatoes and an empty pasta box for my pasta. When Ada saw it, she had to make actual pasta tomato and cheese so the little felt bit ends became cheese. Chocolate sauce was also added to the concoction. Hope you have a great day and hope you make your own. I'd love to see it. Thank you for watching.